there, Taurus. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And Taurus, I would really like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. The likes and the subscribes and the comments, I really love them. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, and one Energy Oracle card. And now here's your first card. It's the General Atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Nine of Cups, Taurus. This is Jupiter in Pisces, Water Energy. This is the Wish card. It's one of the best cards in the whole deck. It's feeling really good. It's great joy and happiness and dreams coming true. It's contentment. It's true satisfaction. It's material wealth. This is appreciating what you have now and having gratitude. It's everything you want and hope for. Wish fulfillment, contentment. This is a positive end to a problem that was quite important, and it brings joy and success. It's sensual pleasure indicated. Satisfaction. You may even feel like hosting a party. This is counting your blessings and indulging. It's being happy and content. Emotionally secure. It's getting your wish. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Interesting, this is a very subconscious kind of card. Number 18 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Moon. Now this could also be a Pisces. It's true references to Pisces now, as well as Cancer. Both are ruled by the Moon. You also have the Devil in your reading here, which those yods hanging underneath the Moon represent 15 Yods links it to the devil. So there's some fears. This deals in the realm of imagination, something you're not seeing. You don't know about it yet. There's illusions. Deception. Someone could be using their intimate in, in imagination. This has to do with sleep and dreams, fantasies. Fears and anxieties and those fantasies. It's facing emotional tests. Sometimes it's being moody. These are feelings and responses to these feelings. You're only seeing half of the information right now. There's something that is not meant to see right now. The clarity will be coming. The sun is the next card. This is the end of a major cycle and things are still changing. It's romance, communion of the souls, it's mutable or dreamy qualities and relationships. It has to do with your emotional nature and confronting fear based on a past experience. There's also a lot of creative energy stored up inside. This is a desire to be creative and it will nurture the soul. The Nine of Cups with the Moon card is fear your wishes won't come true. These fears may be just in your head and not based on reality. The Moon is also equals nine. That makes two nines in your reading, which represents receipt. Going to be receiving something. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Taurus. Number 15 of the Major Arcana, the Devil. This could be a Capricorn. This is someone that you know about. Capricorn could be in their chart. It doesn't have to be their son. It could be other parts of their chart. No, this Devil represents our bondage to forms physical in term of objects and possessions. And if it's a bondage to emotional, this would be unfulfilled desires. It's an intense desire. The divine energy is dormant, 
and the current situation will bring harm and destruction. This is a fixation. This is someone that might have given up their willpower and they could have been controlled by someone of a very selfish nature. This is someone that may be holding back the best version of themselves. They need to set boundaries. This cursed person could have been a taker. They may have put on some pressures. They could have had lack of consideration for others. Could also be experiencing a difficulty with a change. These are chains that are put on by ourselves, and there is an opportunity to be successful. This can be a deep craving, maybe even a sacrifice without thinking what it costs. There's no going back without it being painful. Someone may be edgy and aggressive. There's a great energy today. So focus and on constructive things that you know will work. And use analytical approaches and bring light to negative patterns that stand in your way. This can be indulgence and material pleasures. And you do something that feels good, but then you overdo it. You'll need to use willpower and strength to overcome. The devil always represents something that we overdo because it's tempting. We like it. But we do too much of it. There needs to be a balance. The Nine of Cups with the Devil card represents hedonistic pursuits, serious partying, partying, wild times. Your fourth card, it's a position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Six of Wands, Taurus, fire energy. This is Jupiter in Leo. Now you had Jupiter in Pisces before. Jupiter always brings an expansion, growth, a lot of something. And this Jupiter in Leo, Leo always represents our, our ego. And this says that you'll be triumphing over adversity. You're going to have achievement and victory, and accolades, pats on the back. Victory is at hand, and it's overcoming the opposition and being the center of attention. And if there's any self-doubt, it's going to be resolved, and you'll win big battles. You can expect to have your desires gratified. It's success in love life, being adored by your partner, even having lots of sex. Gifts may be received. It's a victory and success after strife. It's praise and recognition and promotion and progress. This could even be a cash prize or a reward as a result of your hard work and effort. Someone's getting attention. They're popular. They'll be coming out on top and they're going to be very fortunate. This is discovering what you're made of and overcoming challenges. It's feeling good about yourself and being a winner. This is a card of achievement and it's fulfillment of hopes and wishes, just like that Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups with the Six of Wands is this party is a success. It's a de deserved recognition. It's emotional triumph. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others yet, but you are consciously aware of this, Taurus. The Two of Cups, water energy. Now this is Venus in Cancer. It's a card of partnership, a union, a soulmate match very strong attraction, a strong relationship, intimacy. It's the beginning, and there's a deep connection here. This is making plans with a kindred soul. 
There's equality and bonding and respect and sharing. These are the same things that they have in their cups for each other. And there is a balance and harmony. There's emotional support and trust and understanding. This can be passion, a love affair. This is taking note of your feelings and needs to make a decision and feeling the joy in your soul when you're doing something for yourself or others. This is a talking over. Things over. It's letting go. This can be a reconciliation. And remembering that shared joy is twice as sweet and shared sorrow is only half as bad. This is a shared bond where wishes and fears are intertwined. So take note of feelings to make a decision. And that is the staff of Hermes. That represents the link between the drive and the intellect. This is love and being love that can turn daily routine into a joyous celebration, and it raises ourself onto a higher plane. And those snakes entwine around the staff as emblems of love's positive and negative qualities. This is a, recollect, a reconciliation of opposites or even the resolution of quarrels and disputes, and it brings in healing. This is a commitment to meaningful exchange. The Nine of Cups with the Two of Cups is a successful relationship. It's overflowing love, and this is the relationship you wish and dream for. The Moon card with the Devil card. This is someone that has a wild side. This could be a heavy-duty secret or fear. It can be pleasure-seeking meets disaster. It's confronting inner demons and then bringing them to light. And if we want to find out what those inner demons are, we go back to the root of the, the, it, the story here. And that is the basis of the matter, which is the Nine of Cups. So this is someone that is still concealing deep fears about a love that will make you happy. The moon card with the six of wands is being recognized and appreciated finally after a long time coming. It's being able to heal others because you healed yourself. The moon with the two of cups is romance. Both of these cards are romance. It's positive cooperation. It can be a friendly agreement or a contract based on mutual trust. It's a dreamlike stage of relationship, like almost like a honeymoon stage. It's the enchantment of romance. It's intuition and connection. The devil with the six of wands is success in business. And this is a warning for your future not to be irresponsible. Two sixes represent ir irritability, also justifiable faith in a partner. The devil with the two of cups is obsessing about wanting love and a partner. One of these couples may be codependent or addicted to love or obsessed with it. The six of wands with the two of cups is an emotional triumph and this relationship makes progress. Yay, finally. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Card number 35, Loyal Heart, Taurus. Card number 35, Loyal Heart. Never read this one before. Fidelity, loyalty, and devotion. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you, and you will turn commitment to co you will in turn fully commit to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. No matter the outer circumstances in your life, trust and have faith, for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. That's really beautiful. Here's your relationship message. Your partnerships, friendships, romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is a time for heart heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Here's the prosperity message. Your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions. 
while your aspirations for success assume form in reality. Success is finally taking shape. If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans while remaining flexible and devoted to serving others, you will be shown proof of your true prosperity. This is a time for joyful celebration of spirit. Your manifesting partner. Ooh, how exciting. Goosebumps. Here's your energy oracle card by Sandra Ann Taylor. Card number 25. Deceit, Taurus. I've not read this one yet either. Card number 25. Deceit. That could represent that moon and the devil together there, which would be deceit. Hidden tactics and manipulation. This card comes as a warning that there may be some deception going on in your life. The person hiding behind the curtain is likely someone you know or deal with either personally or professionally. The duplicity could be regarding a personal issue like someone spreading rumors or disrespecting you to others. Or it could be a business matter where details are being hidden or even manipulated. Well, that moon also tells us to be aware of contracts behind a written or, or spoken word, so watch out for contracts, you guys. Now back to the card. Be aware of what is going on in your life. The man behind the curtain is holding a bag, something valuable, so watch your money and your good name, and make sure you have all the information you need to keep things honest and secure. A deep layer of meaning may be that the deception is actually coming from within. Is there something that you're lying to yourself about? In this case, the bag of valuables may be holding things like self-esteem, happiness, and even leisure time. Whether it's about your life or yourself, remember that the universe has a hard time sending, sending your, you honoring experiences if your energy is shrouded in self-deceit. And here's the affirmation. I am honest with myself and others, and I attract great honesty, integrity, and support from the universe. I am honest with myself and others, and I attract great honesty, integrity, and support from the universe. I am honest with myself and others, and I attract great honesty, integrity, and support from the universe. And my motto is, my word is my bond. Now, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe, you guys. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.